right. Um, again, I, I could stay on this relationship thing all day. Yeah. Kiki Palmer. Oh, my gosh, bro. Oh, shit. Kiki Palmer. <laughs> Kiki Palmer, she, she just filed, I think it was yesterday or the day, just filed a restraining order against her ex-boyfriend now, Darius uh, Jackson. She, um, she applied for sole custody of their child. She put out pictures of Darius from, from their ring camera still images of him choking her out in the crib saying, I need to be saved from this man. Darius and his brothers come. Matter of fact, her mother came out. Kiki's mom. Like, yo, Darius been beating my daughter up for years and his brother knew about it. And all this start, and here's the crazy part, right? Before I throw it on over to you. All this started publicly. I can't say behind closed doors because she said this man been whipping her out for years. But publicly, because she went to an Usher concert, half-dressed, bodied up, showing her after-baby body, and got serenaded by Usher and her husband or her boyfriend. It was like, yo, you a whole mom. How you out there looking like that, getting serenaded by this dude? And it been downhill ever since. What's your thoughts on it? Well, once again, clout is is in the picture. Uh, the last time with that Usher situation, what did Kiki Palmer do after she had, you know, totally humiliated her? Made baby a song girl? with him. Made a song. Made, Made a song, song. and a video. Double down on the disrespect. Double down on the disrespect. <laughs> She, re she recorded the song, did the video with Usher, um, doubled down on the disrespect, and guess what? They applauded Kiki for it. Oh, Kiki, go, 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 girl. And the fact that the fact that this man wants his woman to act like a virtuous woman, acts like a mother, want her to act like, you know, as, as a woman should, he is shunned. He is ridiculed. He's insecure. Uh, he's trying to control her, and he's basically doing the same thing grandma would have told her to do. A lot of the things that men tell women to do, grandma told you to do the same thing. Grandma told you to keep your legs closed. Grandma told you not how your business out there. Grandma told you to cover up. Grandma told you don't be sleeping around. Grandma told you all these things, but when a man says it, oh, he's insecure, uh, he's controlling, he's a narcissist, you know, the same shit they always say. And so... Uh, I don't think he was wrong for because she publicly disrespected him. He wouldn't have had to go to Twitter to say anything about it if she didn't already publicly put this shit out there with a cheat out. You feel what I'm saying? And so when you hit a man with public disrespect, unfortunately, he can either he can privately talk to you, but he's going to probably have you going to force him to publicly reply. And so this situation is just the the extended version of that. She's been disrespecting him. She's um she's been just violating him. That was a double down. Um, I don't exactly know why he 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 came back into the situation. But once again, as we said before, men love women unconditionally. So he probably really actually loves the the this woman to death. He probably really loves this woman. He probably wants to have a family with a two parent household for her kids and things of that nature. But unfortunately that girl don't give a shit. She Kiki Palmer. You know what I'm saying? And I, if I can go get, if she can go get attention and validation from other men and other people, then why not? And on your on on my way out, I'm going to humiliate you more by exposing more of our family issues and our family business. Well, I'm going to go ahead and send you screenshots. And what the fuck is a goddamn movie star posting screenshots of the house for? Go! You trying to get another movie deal. You trying to be the next chick in Tyler Perry films of some abusive shit that paints a black man the wrong. And, and unfortunately, man, these guys don't even understand it. They pawns in these women's schemes. He is a pawn, bro. She is, she is pawn. 
She is moving him across the chessboard. Now, do I, I definitely do never condemn a man ever physically putting his hands on a woman, assaulting his woman, unless he's defending himself. But of course, even if he was defending himself, she's never going to show that. She's going to show the part that he, he had her. She ain't going to show, women never show the part where they hit you in the head with the pot. <laughs> they never show you the part where they hit you in the head with the pot, bro. They never show you the part where they pull the knife out on you. They never show you the part where they pull the gun out on you. They only show the part where you try to get them away from you. Or you try. They never show the part where you try to leave and she stands, sits her fat ass right in front of the door and won't let you go. They never show that part. But as soon as. All right, man, go on now. Here come the phone. He beat me. Where are your bruises at, bitch? <laughs> what, show me the hospital records. Show me the black eyes. Show us the bruises. Right? Because if a man beating your ass and you really feel like you're scared of for your life, then where the fuck is the police report? Call the police on that nigga. No, y'all use that shit to try to control these niggas. These niggas don't be wanting y'all asses. So you're going to try to piss them off. You you woke that nigga up, hit him in the head with a pot. He tried to get the pot <laughs> from you. And you pulled the fucking phone out and said, this nigga beat my ass. And then you put the Instagram. Why the fuck are you posting a, a domestic situation on Instagram when you should be sending that shit to the police? If the nigga hits you, call the police on his ass, get his ass locked up. And I believe if the man that's beating on his woman should get his black ass locked up. So why the fuck are you going to Instagram? Instagram ain't getting nobody locked up. You're trying to humiliate this man and use him for clout. That's why people go public. This whole exposure culture is for clout. Because if you really were a victim, the last place you're going is Instagram. You're going to the authorities. You're going to the hospital. Remember the girl that um got, they said that uh, the, the dude had hit her or whatever and had that big old, big, her whole, whole face had swollen up or whatever. The dude had hit her. Yeah, it turns out to be some bullshit. Clout. Because if yeah. somebody is physically assaulting you, you feel scared. For your life, the first thing you're going to do is not go to Instagram. You should go to the authorities. You should call an ambulance. You should call police there. You should call that if your if your life is such in danger. If you were hurt so bad, if this man has physically hurt you so much, so why the fuck is everybody going live and not going to the damn hospital? Clout. So. Unfortunately, Tyler Perry probably gonna cast him in the next film. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be like Acrimony too, and got <laughs> Kiki Palmer gonna be the star, and you know, and, and that's what it's that's that's how it's gonna go. And she's gonna use it to get another role. And Darius Jackson, as long as he allows her to, will be a pawn. And and, and unfortunately, a child is involved. So now she knows she she, she she understands probably she understands that that man wants to be in his child's life as most of us do well that but you know what that child is that child is her main weapon oh i got what you want so you know what i may not be able to keep you but i got this child and i'm gonna wave that shit around like a carrot in front of a donkey and make you do my bidding and anytime that you get wrong i'm gonna snatch it away from you i'm gonna there you're going she's gonna use that child as a goddamn a, a, as a weapon. And so Darrison got himself in a situation, man. Um, unfortunately, it's, 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 it's a lot of men all, all over the country. Because, like I said, she's only showing her highlight reels. She ain't show the shit when she hit him in the goddamn head with the pot. She ain't show that. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Um, and, and I'm going to start off by saying, you know, and, and, I, and I know I speak for you when I say this. Under no circumstances do um, we support, condone. Any, any man putting his hand on a woman. Exactly. I, I, absolutely not. That's some weak ass shit. Yeah, but I don't think it was an accident, you know, that she released still shots. Still shots from a video, and both of which had Darius choking her out. Uh, but if she was in an abusive relationship, I support her. A million percent, I do. Me too. Me and unfortunate, too. especially as a, a black man, I understand 
you know, what, what it's like, the implications of having a child in a dysfunctional home, and now the child stands to be raised in a broken home. Mommy is not with daddy. So I hope and I pray for them, for both of their sake, that they could put their mess to the side and put the child at the forefront and, and, and move accordingly. Yeah. Because the, 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 the person that's going to suffer, you know, and this is for better or for worse, right? Because just because mommy and daddy didn't work out, mommy and daddy is your biggest role models in life. And they're going to, whether this is a boy or girl, and I'm not sure what they got a boy or girl, but you are the ones who are showing that child how to either treat a woman or how to treat a man, how to behave in a relationship or how to be or how to, to continue this cycle. If you see daddy and mommy arguing all the time and you think that that's normal, when you get into a relationship, you're going to be arguing all the time because you think that this is what relationships are. But if you see that daddy and mommy work together, even though they're not together, mm -hmm. if you see daddy and mommy have my interests first, that is the way you're going to be in your relationship. So I hope for their sake, for their child's sake, they figure it out. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.